hey guys how are you welcome to another video uh, thanks for being here and I want to apologize for not uploading a video last week but my baby had surgery my dog so I stayed the week uh, taking care of her uh, right now I'm working on a keychain uh, they are ramen um, bowls uh, inspired by Ponyo uh, right now I'm making the little ham it's not perfect it doesn't have to be you're gonna see the end results in a minute after i texturize it and color it so right now i'm texturizing these little hams with the needle tool and these are the ones i already colored with the pastels and right now i'm gonna show you how i use the feather tool to just get rid of some of the uh, deep marks and make it look more like um, meat. So now I'm adding a little bit of translucent clay to make it look like the pork fat and I'm texturizing it a little bit and coloring with the clay and I'm using the rubber tool to make it a little softer and blend it. So now they are all ready for the oven. So earlier I wrapped a little bit of translucent clay uh, with green on the wire and just baked it for a little bit. Uh, now I'm going to cut it so that I can make the little green onions. Uh, so you can see, you can uh, see the translucent clay inside the shapes. So now that my little bowls uh, are cooled after baking them, I'm gonna just uh, use a little sandpaper to make them a little smooth. So they are ready to put the bottom of the bowl. I just use a little of female translucent liquid clay to glue the little pieces of uh, clay. So after adding these little circles, I wasn't happy with the size, so I just used a little circle cutter to make it a little smaller and I think it looks a lot better now. So now they are ready to bake again. Now let's make a couple of um, boiled eggs so they can be the topping on these um, ramen bowls. Now I'm going to use one of my favorite tools, the extruder, to make some of the uh, ramen noodles. Uh, this is just so satisfying to see. To add the detail on the bowl, I'm using the Posca markers, just the red and blue, so that I can add the little uh, shapes that you can see on the Ponyo um, bowl. So now I'm mixing the female translucent uh, clay with uh, a little bit of the pastels. I'm using a little uh, yellow and light brown and try to make the right color 
for the liquid. As you can see, you have to mix it really well so that there's no uh, pastels left. Um, so this is it. You're gonna mix some of the noodles in there, clean the edges, and start adding your toppings. So as you can see, I just added the green onions and I'm mixing the pork with some of the liquid to make it look like it's uh, juicy and put them in the on the edge of the bowl and it's looking so good right now that I want a bowl for myself. So I'm just gonna add a couple noodles on the parts that I see they're a little empty so that they can be uh, full and look more realistic. So now I'm gonna use my little drill to drill a tiny hole so that I can screw the tiny uh, eye pin. Just be gentle with this step, don't tighten the little eye pin too much, you don't want to crack the clay. So now just attach the keychain uh, and you are almost done with it. I'm gonna continue making this little ramen bowl since they are So as you can see, I used two different keychains. One is the silver uh, regular ring keychain and the golden star. So you can choose between one of those. So now the final step is just to cover it with a light uh, resin layer to protect the clay. Make sure that you use gloves and a mask when you work with layers. Remember, they're still a chemical. I forgot to use my uh, gloves over here.
Now that the resin is here, let's pack them. So guys, if you really enjoy watching this video as much as I enjoy making this little ramen bowl, please subscribe to my channel. It will really make a difference on my channel grow. I will really appreciate it. Uh, maybe if you already subscribe, maybe sharing it uh, to one of your friends, uh, it will help me. So I hope that you enjoy watching the video. Don't forget to check uh, my stores. Maybe you will find something that you uh, like. Remember that my Shopify store has better prices than Etsy since I don't have to pay those uh, Etsy fees. So I'll see you next week, guys, and I hope that you have an excellent uh, weekend. Bye, guys.